Welcome back to our Midday Makeover. Today I'm joined here with Mike Wayne from Shimon Canal Trust Company. Thanks so much for coming in. And as we start the new year, you know, a lot of people, you know, want to get either, you know, the, themselves in order a lot. And one of those things is finances. But if you've never created a budget, you know, where do you even start? Well, first of all, this is a New Year's resolution that can really pay both short term and long term dividends to you. So I really would encourage you. It really starts with kind of planning. Look at your take home pay because that's really the money that you have to work with. Um, and then sit down and track your expenses over a period of time, six to eight weeks. And it seems like a lot, but you'd be amazed when people actually put that down on paper exactly where they're spending money. And then take a look at that and see what kind of priorities do you have. Develop some short-term priorities. Maybe you want to pay down some of your Christmas credit card debt. Maybe you want to save for a vacation later in the year. And then look at some long-term. If you've got children, maybe it's their retire or their education account, or maybe putting a little bit of money away for retirement. So developing some priorities and then kind of benchmarking from there is a, is a great way to start. And then as far as actually keeping the budget, I mean, there's lots of apps out there. There's computer programs. I guess what do you think you know works best? Whether it's writing out with pen and paper or you know, how do you track it? Well, a lot of it depends on your personality. Some older people like me are probably a little bit more pencil and paper driven, but there are, you're absolutely right. As a matter of fact, in the office the other day, um, a couple of my coworkers were showing me a, a free um, uh, app called mint.com. Mint. And that was, I was very amazed at how detailed it was, easy to do, and it can interface with your existing banking accounts if that's what you'd like it to do. And then one of the things you, you and I were talking about, you know, if you want to budget and everything, but you don't want to give up, you know, maybe your social life or hobbies you do, you know, how do you balance that out with, you know, still being able to save money? Well, you, you have to be a little realistic. First of all, you got to remember that there will be some unexpected things that'll happen, both good and bad. Nobody plans for four new tires on their car, but those things happen and you, you don't have any choice. But you really do want to make sure that you're not you're not sitting at home twiddling your thumbs at night. Create a little bit of, of a, a cash spending account that you can use to for, for various holidays or fu functions with friends and, and family. Just something that you're gonna have. You, you still wanna go out to the movies, you still wanna eat dinner every now and then. Um, so don't tie your, your budget so tightly that you, there's no wiggle room at all. Yes, we certainly do. All right, well, thanks, Mike, so much for coming in. 